or spud. They say two toxic people would never be able to be in a healthy relationship. I believe that's a false narrative. Because why? Just because someone dealt with abandonment issues, just because someone dealt with betrayal, or just because someone dealt with not having nobody, doesn't mean somebody cannot not show up for somebody in a healthy way. You know, when two people come to terms as to being real with themselves, like, hey, I dealt with abandonment issues. Yo, hey, I deal with depression sometimes. Hey, I have anxiety sometimes. Hey, I have sleepless nights sometimes. Hey, I deal with the same things as well. Hey, are you okay today? Hey, can we show up for this relationship? Hey, can you be my balance? Hey, you see something in me that I don't see in myself. Hey, I showed up for myself today. Hey, I went to work and I was happy. Hey, I'm happy you came into my life. You know, regardless to what someone's upbringing may be or what misunderstanding self they, they had within themselves during their challenges within life itself, you could genuinely show up in a relationship as well as you can show for yourself in a healthy way without having to be controlling, without having to be toxic, without having to have malicious intentions to bring harm towards someone, to disrespect someone. A genuine relationship can work when two people are on the same page when it comes to communication and valuing each other's time. When finding your balance within yourself to allow yourself to come out of your comfort zone to acknowledge someone else, like, hey, I could show up for myself in a healthy way, and I could show up for someone else as well and still live my life, but allow someone to come into my time, come, in, come into my life and value my time as well as I value their time with no malicious intentions. Respect. Love is one of a kind. Love is real. When two genuine people choose each other, with no malicious intentions. You know, peace is looking different on you today. Mentally, spiritually, physically. Emotionally. Self-love is looking good on you today. In ways you least expect it. Remember the days when you couldn't show for yourself? Remember the days when you thought you were psyching yourself out of your own thought process because you was getting discouraged within your discouragement moments? Remember when you was able to show for that relationship when you should have been unavailable? But now you turned your unavailable awareness on to allow yourself to show that I am available to myself today in a healthy way. And I should never settle for less, allowing somebody to try to take me out of my thought process because I love myself in a healthy way. Or allow somebody to take me out of my thought process to allow me to feel like loving myself is a crime when loving yourself is not a crime. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You deserve to be treated with respect 365 days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards anyone with malicious intentions. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Never allow someone to psyche of your thought process because they're miserable. Never allow someone to psyche of your freedom because they're miserable. Never allow someone to psyche of your thought process because you love yourself because they're miserable. Loving yourself is not a crime. It's not. Be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. Your life matters. Continue to believe in yourself. Have a good day. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Respect. <laughs>